Hey guys, welcome back to the Circleville YouTube channel. For this video, I thought we'd take a look at some of these Milwaukee M12 cordless ratchets. Milwaukee just came out with a new high-speed ratchet, so that gives us basically four variations to choose from. So I threw together this little table of some of the specs of your different options, so maybe you can uh, decide which, if any, is the best tool for you. Now, for the sake of this video, we're only talking about the 3 8 inch drive ratchets because I fear that's the most common, most popular, so most beneficial to anyone watching. So we have the new high-speed ratchet, which is fuel, brushless. You have the original fuel ratchet, again, brushless. We have the fuel extended reach, brushless. And the original 3 8 inch Milwaukee M12 ratchet, which is a brushed uh, motor ratchet. So the new high-speed ratchet, which, by the way, on this table, the first link of each one is to the bear tool, and the second link on each one is to the kit, if you're interested in any of them. We are going to look at prices towards the end of the video, because that's important for the comparison. But before we get to that, we're just going to focus merely on the specs. So the high-speed ratchet comes in at 450 RPM, which is double the regular fuel ratchet, and still quite a bit more than the other two options. So as the name implies, high speed, that is absolutely true. Now the unfortunate part is as we look at the torque, it's only 35 foot pounds of torque. The other two fuel ratchets both come in at 55 foot pounds of torque. This 35 foot pounds for the high speed matches the original brushed model. So you do get the higher speed, which if that's what you're looking for, that's great. Although I think for most people, you're more interested in torque than the speed of it. But again, this is a specialty high speed ratchet. So, okay. But if it came in at 55, that would be awesome to get both the higher speeds and to get the same amount of torque as you're getting out of the others. It really would make it uh, easier for someone to decide, right? Because you're getting the best of both. It's 11.1 .1 inches, which puts it on the shorter side of all the different ratchets and at 2.1 pounds it is also one of the lighter ratchets. As we look at the regular fuel ratchet, it's only 200 RPM so it is the slowest of all of them. Also at 11.8 inches it is the longest outside of the extended reach which the entire purpose of that one is for it to be the extended reach and it's also the heaviest of all the ratchets they offer. Now, looking at the fuel extended reach, I think that one is the one I would want the most. I just have this guy down here because he's cheap, and we'll get to that in a second. But if I got to choose just one that I wanted, I would love the extended reach because working on cars, there's so many times where it's nice to get those extra couple inches to uh, access something. So this one is 250 RPM, which matches the brush model, and you get the 55 foot-pounds of torque. So decent speed, you're tied for the most as far as torque, and 14.3 inches, it is a couple inches longer than the others. I'll also show you pictures of them here in a second. And at 2.66 pounds, it is one of the heavier of the ratchets, but also being the longest you would expect it to be. I would expect it to be the heaviest of all of them, so it's kind of surprising that the fuel ratchet is 2.8 pounds being a couple inches shorter. And then you have just your basic brushed model, the original 3 8 inch wrench uh, ratchet. It's 250 RPM, 35 foot pounds, 10 3 quarter inches, and 1.9 pounds. So as we look, here is the high speed ratchet. Looks very similar to the regular fuel ratchet. And you can see that's obviously the extended reach. And the little guy I got, the brushed model. So I do want to take a look at the prices. I went to Acme for each of these because they had a product page for every one. It was nice and easy to look up. So here is your high-speed ratchet. Your introductory price is going to be $179 for the Bear Tool, which isn't awful. Again, this is very specific. If you don't have a reason for the high speed, there's really not much reason to get this one. It's very much focused for someone who has 
that need because outside of the higher speed, it doesn't have any other quality that is so much better than all the others. Now, if we look at just the regular fuel bear tool, it is 179. So high speed, 179. The regular one's 179. So in that case, do you value speed more? Do you value torque more? Now, I'm not even paying attention to these offers right here because offers like this come and go and whatever. But if you do want the fuel ratchet, it does come with a free battery right now at Acme Tools, if that is something you are interested in. Now, the extended reach, of course, the one I would want, the one that I think is the best, is the most expensive. $229 for just the bare tool. Awful. <laughs> and there you go. You compare the one you want with the one you got. <laughs> 129 which... Again, I'm not, I'm also, I'm not trying to find the best price for each of these. I just wanted to get ballparks to give people a general idea. A lot of times you can get free batteries with this. You can usually get this for like 99 bucks on sale sometimes. So it's more just a generalization to give you kind of an idea of what to expect for each of these. But 129 for the 3 8 inch ratchet, the brushed version, it's really not bad when you compare it to the others. It's 50 to 100 dollars cheaper than all the others. And the way the specs are, yes, it is lower in the foot-pounds, the torque, so that may be end of the game for you right there. You're only going to consider these two. But for someone who's going from the high speed to the regular ratchet, do you pay that much more for 200 RPMs more? Of course, you're getting a fuel and blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're talking about brushless motors and the benefits of that and everything. So there's other considerations, but just from what we're looking at here there's not a ton of value add going from the brushed version to the high speed so there it is guys I just wanted to touch base on these different ratchets since I saw this new high speed ratchet coming out as I said I have the brushed version I've had it for probably two years now and it's held up just fine for me I like it. I mean, if you didn't know these other ones existed, you'd be just happy with it. Then you look at the chart with some other stuff, be like, ooh, I could get one that's 20 pounds more, 20 more foot pounds of torque. Or I can get one that has higher RPMs. And you're kind of feeling bad about the one you got. <laughs> but, you know, it really, for me, it works just fine. Uh, but the, the extended reach for my applications would kind of be the dream one to have. Of course, it's got to be the most expensive. But there it is. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give the video a like, subscribe, and subscriber, and I'll see you guys next time.